The other day I made a trip out the Micro Center, which is not a short trip. There's only one in California, I believe. I think they're opening up another one at some point, but yeah, they're like well over an hour away from me. On the way back, it's like two and a half hours back because there's always crazy traffic. So I got to make the trip worth it. You know what I'm saying? So go out there, pick up a bunch of Raspberry Pi stuff, especially things that I was looking forward to grabbing. Also stop at a pretty delicious taco place. Hells yeah. But I was looking forward to the uh, Raspberry Pi 500. So I grabbed that. But what I really went out there for was the uh, newly released Raspberry Pi monitor. I was looking for this thing online. Everywhere I looked, it was like either they were back ordered, out of stock, pre-ordered, nobody had it. They had one. So I did an in-store pickup, went out there, grabbed it, picked up a few other things. So I wanted to pair the uh, Pi 500 with that. Bought a few other things. I, I don't know why, but I got the Raspberry Pi USB hub. It's Raspberry Pi branded. I, I figured screw it. Also grabbed a uh, Pi 4 uh, one gigabyte RAM model. It was on sale. It's not 35 bucks. It was on sale for $29. They had a bunch of different Pi models on sale. You can always find deals there. Never bought a one gig model of this before, but we've been talking about this kind of stuff recently, about how the prices keep going up with the uh, newly released models. But this was one of the newer models of the Pi 4. And I'm gonna use this for a project in the very near future. I'm gonna do something really cool with this, gaming related. So we're gonna save that for later. I grabbed the Raspberry Pi mouse. I don't know, I didn't need it, but we're gonna use it, power supply. Can't go wrong with some uh, extra micro SD cards. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna mess with that. Now they didn't have the uh, Pi 500 kit, which is what I really wanted. It comes with power supply. Comes with the mouse. Uh, comes with the micro SD card already with the Pi OS, and then it comes with like a like a get started guide or like a little project guide type of thing. And it's a bit more expensive than the uh, 90 bucks just for the Pi 500, but at least you get everything ready to go. Uh, I think it's more worth it to get that because this just comes with the system by itself. But I thought this is cool. Pi 500, 8 gigs RAM. So it's a Raspberry Pi 5, 8 gig model built into a keyboard. Pretty damn sweet. And then the uh, Pi monitor, which just came out. I think this thing is awesome, or at least what I've seen of it anyway. So let's just get this stuff unboxed, check it out, pair it up. Um, I did have to download the uh, Pi OS since I did not get the kit because I, I do want to mess around with that a little bit on here just to get started. And then I will, you know, pop in a Batacera image as well. Test that out. So that'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, like a whole little desktop setup here. But yeah, in this little, you know, setup, you're not really getting uh, anything. Wait, it does come with a micro SD card. The heck does it come with the uh, Pi OS already installed? As 32 gig, a 32 gig uh, micro SD card. I did not think it came with anything. Okay, so it's gotta already have Pi OS on there or the installer. That's interesting. I did not know that. Okay, so, well, that's cool, but uh, let's take a look at the uh, input outputs back here. So you do have a, Access to GPIO right here. It just has like a little cover. The little micro HDMIs right there. USB-C for power. And USBs right there. That's it. Just several. You don't have four. That's okay. You always get the uh, USB hub if you need extras, right? But that's pretty sweet. Little keyboard action. So we got that going on. All right, let's get the uh, the monitor out. So I thought, um, from what I read with the monitor, I thought it was pretty cool. Like, you could have the Raspberry Pi power the monitor if you want, instead of having, you know, multiple power supplies coming out. You know, having a power supply connected to this and the Raspberry Pi, you could just have the Pi powered and then plugged into this and it'll supply power to it. And if you do it that way, I think you get like half brightness, half uh, sound, 
you know, power type of thing. And if you plug this in itself, you get 100%. And it does have the, uh, that, the standard Raspberry Pi color scheme going for it. I don't know if they made a, a black one because normally they have like that smoke blackish color for everything like they do with the mouse and the case, the official case. But there we go. This was a 15.6 uh, inch 1080p screen. Pi logo at the bottom. Speakers on the side. Volume. Brightness. Got a little VESA mount action going on. Another Pi logo on the back. And then a little stand. Full size HDMI, power, and headphone jack right there. The Raspberry Pi monitor. I thought this was pretty slick. Yeah, they've always had like little, um, little touchscreen monitors and whatnot, but this I believe is the first time they've done something like this. Get the uh, power supply going. Get the mouse out. I think this same mouse that they've been selling, probably the same one that came with the Pi 400 kit. Let's take a quick look at the hub. I don't, I'm not gonna need it right now, but may as well take a look at it. Could come in handy, I guess. Got USB-C if you need additional power for it but you don't need to provide power to it unless, uh, depend on what you're plugging into this thing. But cool. Kind of nice you have the little, that little spot there to kind of lead things under if you're setting up a little space. Let's get our mouse plugged in. Okay, here we go. Power button right here. It's power on. Light's red right now. I don't know if you can see that down there, but the, the little power light's red. Tap it. Oh, there we go. Raspberry Pi, sweet. Is that saying that we don't have additional power plugged in? Is that what that was? Is that what that meant? 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz. Sweet. Got our little Raspberry Pi uh, desktop going here. Welcome to the Pi desktop. I think our buttons are on this side. Yeah, for brightness and... Uh... Oh, we can go a little brighter. Oh, we go 60% 60, 60 brightness since we're we're being powered. We're daisy chained to power off of the, uh, the Pi. We're, we're leeching off of it. 60% brightness. 50% volume. Let's let's check these speakers out real quick. Let's take a look at that Nintendo Switch 2 trailer. Okay, I mean at like half a volume, it's okay. But let's pause this. We gotta we gotta hear full full volume. It kind of the brightness is all right, but let's 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 get some uh, extra power going to this uh, monitor. Oh yeah, volume all the way up. Let's go to max brightness. Let's boost that up too. Max. All right, let's hopefully we don't, hopefully we don't blow these speakers out. Yeah, we, we, we're not blowing these little speakers out. That's a good volume though.
They're little, they're little 1.2 watt speakers. You know what? Boosting it to 100% brightness, 100% volume is, is good. It's not too, the brightness isn't like crazy and the volume's just fine. I mean, 1.2 watt speakers and the, uh, you know, there's, there's our specs for the uh, display. So, I mean, we're good. IPS LCD anti-glare coating. Nice. Yeah, it, I mean... This ain't the greatest monitor ever, and maybe at a hundred dollars. I mean, I'm sure some people will be like, This kind of you know, a little much, a little much, but I mean, to complete the Raspberry Pi look, I, I don't know, I, I kind of like it, I kind of like it, but we got a game on it, so I'm gonna have to pop in a Batacera image, play some games, use a controller and whatnot. You know, we could utilize the keyboard for certain things, right? So let's do that. Okay, so I got that Batacera build installed in the uh, Pi 500 desktop setup here. I've been having so much fun with this. This is actually a couple days later from the previous footage. I actually wound up finding a uh, desktop kit. And I noticed actually the mouse that it comes with is not the uh, raspberry colored one. It's like an all white one, but essentially it's the same thing. But yeah, as you can see, like this is the... The $90 box with just the, the keyboard. This is the uh, the full kit that's like $30 more. And it comes with everything that you need. So in my opinion, this is probably more worthwhile to get if you really want something like this. Because of the mouse, Pi 500, the power supply, HDMI cable, the guide, and the 32 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. But enough of that, enough of that. I want to I wanna check this out. What I've been messing with on this, and as you see, I don't even have this plugged into my power, you know, plugs over here. Um, I'm actually plugged into an external battery in the back. So you can like actually have this thing just completely portable if you wanted, right? So that's pretty sweet. So let me, uh, let me find what I was, what I've been messing around with right here, MS-DOS. So man, I've been having a lot of fun screwing around with, with, uh, DOS games on here, like, like Warcraft as an example. So this game completely played with the keyboard and mouse, but we could play tons of other games, even like GameCube games with this thing. Uh, so you can hook up a controller, wired, Bluetooth, uh, a wireless controller with a dongle like this one. Uh, plenty of options, but Warcraft here, pretty awesome. Like this whole setup's just perfect for games like this. So single player, I uh, will go Orc Campaign. Screw it. Let me go to the menu. There's a couple little options I wanna, I wanna put down. Yeah, key, key and mouse scroll to the slowest. We're good there. Okay. Sweet. Move those guys over there. Train some little peons. Get those guys to. Like this is freaking, freaking awesome, dude. Like, I don't know. I just get excited over stuff like this. Yeah, I know. I could play these games on my my Windows PC. But just having like a little setup like this, I don't, I don't, it's magical to me. Leave me the hell alone, all right? Where's my peon at? I need him to mine. And I'll show you like playing something else through this. Like we could play GameCube. We could play GameCube. I probably should overclock it though. Uh, we want him to harvest. Go over there. Not enough food. Mm. Build another farm. Pretty sure if I go this way, I'm going to run into some humans. I don't think we're ready for that, though, so we shouldn't go too far. Okay, so just the, that that's just a little demonstration. You know what? Let's let's go get Oh, did we already get killed? Oh no, we killed somebody. Holy crap. I'm pretty sure there's more humans over here. Right, let's just get in another fight to where I could actually see it. 
and like this is perfect for like Apple II, Scum VM, uh, stuff like that. A lot of the old school PC games. Make yourself a PC Classic Edition. Remember that thing? That company that was making a PC Mini and then they never did? You know, a little DOS box. Come on, we're like going all the way clear across the map and there ain't nobody. Oh, there we go. Kill him. Oh. We need reinforcements, yo. Oh, that's right. You hold control. You hold control to multi-select units. I forgot. It's been a while, man. Where is he? Get your ass over here. There we go. Go that way. Where the hell did those humans come from? I don't know why I'm going out here with just two guys, but, you know. I think the humans are, like, down here somewhere. Because I can't, I came across them up here, so they're either down there or up there. But um, I, I, I forgot I was filming a video, and I'm just sitting here screwing around. So uh, let's, let's get out of this. Let's get out of this. This is freaking a lot of fun, though. Uh, this is a Batacera build from uh, Wolfenos. I did a video on this build not too long ago. But there is tons of stuff. Look at all these DOS games, man. Like that, I love this build for plenty of reasons. But all these freaking DOS games. Theme Park. I freaking love that game, dude. You got like SimCity, SimCity 2000. Uh, like there's tons of games that's perfect with this kind of setup. Freaking amazing. X-Wing, oh my God, I remember going to a friend's house way back in the day, like, yeah, like, I don't know, probably 93, 94, probably somewhere around there when the game came out, and he booted this this up, and I was just blown away, I was like, holy crap, dude, freaking X-Wing, hell yeah, but so, so many awesome games here, just sweet stuff, uh, but yeah, you could play, uh, like Apple II, Scum VM, all that kind of stuff. There's MSX games that could use the keyboard. Um, but yeah, a lot of, lot of cool stuff. A little, little GameCube action running off of this keyboard. I mean, I, I should have overclocked it a little bit, but um, that's fine. There's a lot of cool stuff you could play on this setup. And, it, you know, to get this, you know, you don't have to use this monitor. I just thought it's neat to have, uh, you know, everything Raspberry Pi branded here. You know, stuff that's made for one another. Uh, but if you wanted, like, the full setup here, it's less than $200 to get all this, uh, you know, Raspberry Pi stuff. The Pi 500 Pi monitor. You know, if you buy some of the stuff separate. Uh, yeah. You know. little desktop setup for under a couple hundred bucks. little Linux setup if you want. You know, RetroPie, Betacera, whatever you want to do with it. I thought it was pretty sweet, man. So I wanted to share it with you guys. I bought all this stuff myself. You guys have been following me for a long time. You know my channel started out with Raspberry Pi content, and I've kind of, you know, flown away from that a bit. But I, it's almost like I have nostalgia for it in a way. It just, I don't know, it still fascinates me, and it excites me. And it's, I still have fun with the Raspberry Pi. So whenever I have a chance to, you know, share my love for it and have some fun, with the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to do content on it. And I still have stuff planned. So keep an eye for that. Appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Bye.